Hey, I'm Tanae, the attorney founder of Legal Goodness, and that's my online content template store for a business owner. All right, so today I want to talk about a few ways that you can protect your content from theft. If you are a business owner that operates in any capacity online, uh, particularly if you are marketing and you're sharing that content uh, with the public, there's always these, this uh, underlying threat, unfortunately, of someone stealing and using it for their own uh, purposes, right? So first up, I basically want to talk about having a terms of use. Um, so terms of use, that's a part of your website terms. Um, if you follow me at all, you know that I'm always talking about my holy grail, right? So my holy grail consists of a terms of use, um, also known as terms and conditions or TNCs, which is uh, linked in the footer of your website. Um, right, next, uh, right next to it is usually a privacy policy, and then you may also have um, a website disclaimers as well. But um, in this instance, I want to specifically talk about terms of use because the terms of use is the uh, perfect place to let uh, visitors to your website know what they can and cannot do with your content, right? So you can let them know very explicitly that they're not allowed to steal your content, that your content is protected by uh, US copyright law, the uh, content and related intellectual property that's on your website um, is either owned or licensed uh, to you. What I like about this very simple step is that it, it gives uh, people notice, right? So you are putting them on notice that this is your IP, um, that you are aware that it's your IP, and you want folks to know that this is not available for them to still copy, sell, distribute, you know, in any manner. Actually, wait, 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 let me amend that really quickly because if you're using license terms, which is another type of terms of use, then yes, there are some caveats to allowing people to, um, to, to sell the content that you have. So. Uh, if you want to know more about license terms, I will link that uh, video above. But um, generally speaking, if you're not giving someone the right to uh, resell or share it, then that's the type of language you want to have in your terms of use. Next up on the list, let's talk about copyright registration. So you may or may not know this, but you can actually submit uh, bulk images blog posts and other content for cop copyright registration. So if it's not something that you want to do piecemeal all the time, but your uh, business is um, constantly producing this type of content and you want to protect it, that is an option. And the reason why I'm mentioning actually doing copyright registration is because if you're ever in a position where you um, actually want to sue someone else for damages for using your content for, for basically you know ripping off um, your valuable intellectual property, well, you're not gonna have any standing or any right to sue um, unless you've already registered. So that content would have had to have been registered before um, the person actually came in and stole it. And I know that most of us are aware that copyright basically automatically exists um, as soon as it's um, you know, created in some type of fixed form, right? And that's great, but again, uh, just be aware in terms of actually acting on it and being able to collect damages from it, that copyright registration has to exist prior to the infringement taking place. So we talked about copyright, let's switch over to trademark. There's also a battle of like names and logos and catchphrases where that's where trademark famously comes in. I think we're all pretty much aware of the value of trademarking important names or logos or aspects of your brand that you don't want anyone else using, okay? So if you operate under a specific company name or a specific brand name, um, and this is something that you want solely for your use and no one else to use it. You want to, you know, have that uh, domain name locked. You want to have the socials locked. This is something that you want to own and own solely on your own. And then yeah, you want to go ahead and get trademark registration. Note that is a lengthy and expensive process. So uh, you want to be sure <laughs> that this is something that you're going to um, be working with and have and use for uh, a long time, for many years ahead that you are committed to it. Because like I said, it is pricey and it does take quite a while these days to secure. All right, last but not least, I want to talk about NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. This is a super valuable way uh, to protect against content theft. This uh, type of agreement um, would be used more so with people that you're actually engaged with, that you're working with, right? So whether it be an employee, an independent contractor, um, whether you're working with a partner or a collaborator, right? This is uh, the perfect instance uh, to use an NDA because a lot of times, you, may, you know, you may be sharing ideas, right? Maybe some ideas for something that hasn't even 
come into fruition yet. You're not even working on it yet, but you have a spark. You have an idea and you're having conversations. Now, ideas are not protectable under um, copyright law. So uh, an idea would have to be actually expressed in a fixed form, right? Like um, a book, for instance, a, a piece of artwork, right? Um, however, you can prevent your idea from being uh, talked about to other people outside of your circle, outside of the folks that you want um, to know about this idea. So that's where NDA comes in. You know, let's say you're thinking about something, a new business idea, and you want to bring a partner on or get their um, vantage point um, on this idea. That's a great opportunity to use an NDA to at least protect it from um, going out into the public uh, sphere. Now, I have lots more to say about the topic of NDAs and protecting um, content and protecting your ideas. I made a whole video about it, so I will link that as well. Be sure to check it out. All right, so for more information about uh, protecting your ideas, protecting your intellectual property, uh, protecting those valuable um, intangible assets that you don't want other folks stealing and using for their own benefit, take a look at Legally Good Club. That's my all-in-one contract and video suite. Um, it has 12 contract templates. It has modules all about trademark and copyright protection. And if you want to take a look inside, watch my free on-demand workshop. Link is in the description box below. For more tips and tricks, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.